de samenwerking met Robbie Williams praat Kylie Minogue in onze special van haar. TMF Extra 10 9 8 7 Working on this album has felt like a new beginning, um, but it's almost the second time around. It's like I've come full circle and I'm, I'm starting, but well, I'm doing pop again, very much pure pop disco. One lesson I've learned over the years is to trust my instinct. Back in the day. It, it just feels like this album, I'm meant to be doing exactly this right now. And that doesn't happen too often. Or I haven't found it happen too often in my life where you really feel like, oh my god, I'm just, I'm just cruising along. Uh, and I think it's because of all the work that I've put in beforehand and that history that means that now we know what we're doing. I have been through so many different incarnations throughout the years, and I don't see anything unusual about that. I think that's just a part of growing up. There's been a lot of talk about a line in Spinning Around which says, Which I didn't write. It just it's it's another example of, of the synchronicity that's been around on this album. Do you like what you see? Well the album Light Years is basically pop disco. It's an uplifting, vibrant album. When I first met with the different writers and producers, we discussed and verbalized the musical style. I gave them my keywords which were poolside, disco and cocktails. Most of them are really quite happy songs and I think that's just a reflection of the way the album, the, the process of making the album was. It just, it was easy and it was like a summer holiday. I worked with a number of different people on the album and I I think that helped to give it a diverse feel, but to me that's more of a danger. I would, my initial reaction with working with six different producers is that it would be all over the place. But, as I've mentioned before, everyone was, uh, we all had the same goal. So it was fabulous. With all these different producers, we're still gonna end up at the same place, but with, with their different flavors. Right, oh, shall we sing? <laughs> Robbie's Robbie, and that's why everyone loves him. And we'll paint by numbers till something sticks. Don't mind doing it for the kids. He has got that sense of irony and, and an understanding of the pop world. He lives it. He is it, so he knows what I go through. If I had to choose any male counterpart, it would have to be Robbie. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of differences in our careers, but I think there is, there is something that links us together. I've been saying it's like Danny and Sandy from Greece or Joni and Chachi. I'm <laughs> happy days with Robbie and Kylie. Robbie and Guy meant so much to me. The way they work together is, is incredible. It's like they don't need to speak. They were the first people I worked with for the album. So if you're building a house and you want good foundations and making a record, 
it was just such a good place to start because they knew what to do. And we'll paint our numbers till something sticks. I don't mind doing it for the kids. Ended up recording uh, Love Boat, You're Just Going Into You, and I'm So High. Um, we used a 72 piece orchestra for a couple of those tracks. The morning they, they went in to write a song for me, by lunchtime it was written, it was this duet called Kids. Working with Nick Cave and doing a duet with him was perfect because we were just two different extremes. Working with Robbie, in my mind, is perfection again because we're we're so close to each other, there's almost this, it's like, you know, putting magnets together or something. Within the album, we've, we've really gone for it. There was no, no holding back. So there are quite a lot of songs uh, that have that kind of cheekiness or real showgirl element or a camp. God, this, this is like the campus song of all time on, on the album. Your disco needs you. I was a bit miffed. I was like, hmm, I don't think everyone rushed to watch my close up. <laughs> but I was the same. Quick, it's his close up. I spent one night absolutely dripping in diamonds. I knew that, that the jewels were coming, that there'd be two security guards to basically watch me all night. It's your name, and I was thinking, yeah, 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 so the diamonds are gonna turn up, whatever. I didn't think I'd be that impressed, but by the time I put on this necklace and, uh, and the cuff, my, I just, I suddenly was very cliche. <gasps> Oh, yes, they're very nice, aren't they? And uh, did feel like a million dollars in them all night. On a night like this, the diamonds are the star. Spinning around video, my hot pants were the star. When spinning around entered at number one, I actually didn't scream, I just was reduced to silence and just stood there and went. And then I cried. The further away I am from having made the album, once I take me out of the studio situation and I, I get a clearer view or a better perspective of the album, I'm realizing how much, how many influences are in there from my childhood and just from, just from my life, I was born into the disco age. Eight years old, eight, nine years old, I was strutting about the house to Saturday Night Fever and Grease, and there's so many of those elements scattered throughout the album. It really has come full circle with me not only accepting my, my past, but embracing it. And I realized two and a half years ago three, I don't know, not that long ago, that you can run but you can't hide. I'm so thankful for even mistakes I've made. They've all, they've all brought me to this point um, and this album and it's been an absolute breeze.